All right, so here we are with the Eric Hill digital anemometer. We're going to test some CFM on my dust collection system here for my miter saw. You can see in the back, there's the big gulp that the four inch hose is hooked up to. So first thing we're going to do is turn it on. When we turn it on here, we're going to push function and it's going to want to find the area. Now, if I was just doing the hose itself, then it should just be that point one one one. But since we've got this larger opening, I'm going to just basically do one foot square exactly. Okay, I'll just leave it at one point one. That's close enough. All right, so we're set there. And now what I want to do is the unit of measurement. I want to get it to CFM. So I went ahead and got it to CFM. I know it's a little hard for you to see the way the lighting is. But anyway, it's a CFM down here. When I just pushed the unit, it uh, went ahead and switched over. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on quick. We'll take some measurements and I'll turn it off because it's obviously really loud. All right. Other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to average. So you hit record, it's going to do max, min, and then average. So I'm going to put it on average. And then we're going to go ahead and let's see, I'll have you zoom in. See if we can get in there on the table. Kind of put it right up in that left corner. And for the sake of time, oops, I'll just come back and look at it. So you can see that it's moving around. It didn't give me some really good reading, so I'm going to go ahead and go go just do it in the middle, and you're just not going to be able to see it very well. So that showed an average of about five, five to six hundred CFMs, and um, you know if we did it right at the hose, you're going to get a much higher. Uh, but then since it opens up like this, it is definitely down to that 500. When I tested it right at the hose, I was at about uh, 1400. So big change from going to the hose to the gulp and then adjusting that area. So the other thing, so let me turn this off quick. The other thing I used this for was testing CFM on this one to see if the hose, moving the hose made a difference, and it didn't. I got consistently the same CFMs um, coming off of here, which was only about 150, which is what you'd expect off a three-quarter horse, and then when you sized it down like that. So anyway, it really came in handy. It's nice to know um, your CFMs, know where you're at and then to be able to adjust things if you need to or shorten hoses if you need to taking out elbows and seeing the difference that that makes because any of those 90 degree turns on the dust collection really impact the cfm so digital anemometer from eric hill and it is ht625c